XRP allows for a neutral bridge asset for settlement. If everybody used stable coins for settlement, you would just exacerbate the Nostro Vostro accounts. So right now about $27 trillion is locked up in accounts all over the world for settlements between counterparties. Nostro Vostro means yours and mine. People take their money, they park it at another bank in the counterparty's currency to be able to settle into that jurisdiction. And so you would just be doubling down on that. So basically Bank of America would have to park some stable coins at JP Morgan in order to be able to settle into their token and then swap into JPM coin. They're not gonna do that. They need a neutral bridge asset that they can sell into, send the payment, settle it, and swap into the other currency, almost real time frictionless for pennies on the dollar. And that's still gonna be cheaper than stable coins too, because if you're sending that over ETH, it's gonna take eight minutes to get there. It's still clunky. You might be able to use Solana, but the network goes down. Maybe you're on the EVM side chain and then you can still settle through XRP. That would be ideal. So again, the path of least resistance and least friction and least cost is what the banks are going to use. And that's why XRP, in my opinion, is going to be the main settlement mechanism over the long term.